This 73-year-old man was referred for evaluation of recurrent bleeding over the past year and a half requiring over 25 units of packed red blood cells. His prior negative studies included three upper endoscopies, two colonoscopies, and a small bowel follow-through. A recent capsule study revealed a right colonic bleeding source. Colonoscopy was then performed. In the base of the cecum, this faint angiodysplastic lesion was seen. This lesion could easily have been missed in prior studies, especially if the preparation had been marginal as was noted on the prior colonoscopy reports. To enhance the flow through this lesion, 0 0.2 milligrams of IV naloxone is given. Within 60 seconds, the lesion fills and becomes more intense, better defining its borders. Bipolar cautery is then performed with a setting of 15 watts and pulses of 2 to 4 seconds. The lesion is completely ablated. Twelve days later, he passes large amounts of clots, and his hematocrit drops to 24%. He is transfused, and a repeat colonoscopy is performed. This fresh post cautery ulcer is seen in the cecum at the site of the AVM. A clot has just been aspirated from the surface of this lesion. No therapy is applied, and he does not re-bleed. Six weeks later, his hematocrit has risen to the mid-30s, he has required no further transfusions, and the site has completely healed, leaving only this stellate scar.